Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, fast food, online fast food project in ASP.NET Core and here we have just, uh, I am going to design details page uh, for the customer. So uh, this is the simple process you can do. Uh, actually ID is routed out uh, or you can say that uh, you have to design get the items detail uh, with the category and the subcategory and with the card detail also so uh, here we have a card actually so uh, public asynchronous task high action result detail section id and id must to say uh, check in the route id uh, in the index page so index.cshtml here we have asp route id so route id is the item dot id so you can check in the id property so here we just move to the id id okay so here we have now just next thing is to do return view or you can say return redirect to action that is index and in this video uh, in this uh, action method just add variable items and in the items just i want to get uh, by using the context so await context dot uh, items dot where uh, uh, item id is the id property so the same thing you can do right here so just copy that and paste it here so here we have include keyword that for the category and the subcategory with the tool list async and also you can use a where keyword uh, which is include id property okay so you want uh, so you get uh, item for the uh, cart okay so you can see here we have a details item from db now uh, the next thing is to uh, to add right here you can add first or default async Okay, and the next one is Okay, so you uh, you have uh, some category and the uh, subcategory is also and uh, Just I want to uh, just return item from DB uh, on the view section But uh, first of all, add a card details right here. So cart equals to new cart, and cart is actually exist in the models. So new cart, and in the cart we have application user ID, item ID right here, and item also. So here you can add item and the item ID right here, and with the count properties also there. So initialize with the item ID with the items uh, items that is uh, getting. Uh, uh, got from your uh, query that is mentioned above or you can also mention right here uh, is one default so item equals to item from db and item id equals to item from db dot id So count equals to one, you can say. And just after that, you can add the detail page that detail CSS HTML page for the create section so just add a create and you can just uh, design manually also and the model class is the card class <coughs> 
okay wait for some times and uh, it will be uh, showing your CSHTML file and where your record exists and it will uh, take some time to generate the code so wait for some times okay if you are uh, please don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, share this video if you like this video okay so uh, also press the bell icon if you like uh, all my contents and uh, related to ESP.NET content learn many more things about ESP.NET Core, SignalR, uh, gRPC and many more media TR etc so finally your view is generated and you can see here we have some post and the rows okay and the ESP model dot items dot image is right now and here's the look you can say product name is like that item dimensions item price item category item subcategory and the count is like that and back to list and add to cart so just when we click on to the second and that item will be added into the cart so the post method will be uh, added uh, in the home controller section so just copy that uh, code of the http get related to the post so cart and that is the cart the first thing is to add uh, you want to add a card with the detail of the application user id so just return the card from their uh, cart id and if uh, already exists the card details then you you can say that the quantity of the card will be increases instead of adding the new card details adding the new item in the card <clears throat> so first of all get the card uh, detail by using their uh, application user id so uh, first of all you can say uh, add a naming uh, name names identifier okay and uh, get the application user id so model state dot is valid then first of all get the application user id by claims identity claims identity this uh, dot user dot identity and uh, <coughs> claims identity dot find first claims type dot names identifier and uh, by, by using the claims dot value you can just go to the application user id <coughs> so if you have application user id then you uh, then you will uh, find the card detail related to your application user so uh, context dot cards dot where x tends to application user id uh, is related to your double equals to <coughs> cards uh, dot application user id and also just i want to get the information from the cards so dot first or default async okay so here we have a card details related to your application user id and x tends to x dot item id is double equals to card dot item id okay so finally x dot application user id is double equals to card dot application user id items id is double equals to card dot items id okay the next thing is to uh, check cart is double equals to null then you will say uh, add a new item add a new menu uh, add a new item in uh, in the menu or you can say into the database table 
if cart is not empty then you will uh, increase the quantity by the cart existing quantity So here we have context dot carts dot add cart and now cart from db dot count cart from db dot count plus cart dot count now your <coughs> cart quantity will be increases by one now after that you can save the context by using context dot save changes okay the next thing is to do that is the written redirect to action that is index okay now you test your page for the adding some details into the card okay now after sign up and adding the car adding the item into the cart and click to submit button for the post the into the cart or you can say add new item into the cart here we have some problems and that is the problem the field of the type system dot in 32 i will uh, see you in later session in the later videos thank you very much for watching this video